Hello everyone, my name is Ramat and today we're going to play Talia mid with Face Rush and GLP. This is going to be a guide on how to play on why you should try at least once Face Rush and this is going to be a guide on why pro players generally try this in solo queue or in... I'm not sure if they do it in LCK or in LEC, I haven't watched. There aren't many Talia games with Talia mid right now, so yeah, they, there is a shortage of that. Now. The main difference between Face Rush and Electrocute or Dark Harvest is that you actually deal less damage, okay, because you don't have the damage part, but you get the movement speed, which is mainly useful for two things. One, against Assassin's matchups, not this, okay, this is not the case, I'm against Lux. Against Assassin matchups, you would want to use this to easily escape their full engage power, but you still might need defensive items, so when Zed jumps on you, you proc your... Um, face rush by EQ auto attack or something like that and two case two is for actually catching matchups that uh, that you cannot really catch such as these Lux for example or champions that have dashes I don't know maybe Azir maybe things like that basically you want to come from this range use GLP to have the first part I think it procs with GLP too right and then do the full combo on Lux I'm going for the GLP to have a slow basis so she doesn't just walk away randomly and I miss my W. And then after I GLP, the tactic would be to actually uh, use my Q and EWQ combo and reposition myself using the face rush. So yeah, that's going to be our plan. And she missed that, I missed the CS there. Okay, so this, uh, this video is going to be cut up a bit because uh, this is mainly about uh, phase rush plus GLP combo, mainly that, so um, the itemization is pretty similar to other videos of mine, so after GLP we're going Sork Shoes, after Sork Shoes we're going Orb, we don't really need heals, they don't have, they have Swain, yeah, we'll see if we upgrade Orb or not, we'll see if we go first Landry or first uh, Morelos, but we, we're going there, we're going to check the items. Uh, also, I'm not sure when the Rabadon or the Zonias will come in, we're going to watch, depending on the game's length, also how ahead I am, things like that. And so I'm generally not cutting the lane phase part, because I believe you enjoy it, and you can see how to properly farm, and I think I got here her, yep, and I procced face rush you could see that I could dodge that Q because of the face rush so this is my first face rush proc right here in the game and it's quite useful to dodge the spells that she's about to throw also they do have a very fast champion such as this Hecarim man if I hit that there if I hit that there I would have actually killed Hecarim I thought he was going to back off and there is a flash from Lux I also flashed if she forced my flash here and so we're moving towards, uh, I'm not getting to work yet, because I need to get to the lane and I'm gonna lose time putting this somewhere, she will see that I have a vision board, but I do recommend for you to buy a vision board every single time. Okay, so, she doesn't have flash, this is a free kill if you want, okay, uh, too slow. Okay, let's see which CS we're going first gonna auto attack combo this, also getting this. You, you could see that I haven't missed most of the CS there by this way, by this way of uh, actually shoving and uh, using the E. Uh, okay, so the main mistake there was that I did not hit W because I expected, well, for Hecarim to back off. Because normally he should back off uh, after that trade because they couldn't really catch me and even though Lux flashed as you can see I survived so yeah but more ganks will be coming towards me so I'm going to work going to work here because there might be a Hecarim angry Hecarim that comes at me he's full HP so we have to be careful he might just go around and so I'm getting this wave and I'm going to work the other side of the map and he has predator it's fine. Going toward here, he's probably here. If I were to guess, he's about to check in on this right after he does he does his top side. So yeah, this is some jungling tracking. Also, I'm not going that much for the kill now because he actually 
jumped on me, so I have to survive more. I missed that seal there. I just, I just, uh, I'm okay with the fact that I'm going to roam. Okay, so I missed that. Also, guys, you will not proc your rune if you miss abilities, so you gotta, you know, you gotta remember that. I also have my ignite. We can actually bait him into the tower, and I am. Yep, yep. This is our kill. Watch this. I'm gonna ping for them, for them to back off. So I'm baiting here for this guy. Okay. Get get the auto attacks in. Get the, get the auto attack in. Ah, that was bad. <laughs> uh, this guy should have flashed here, and well we would have at least a successful kill but that that's why it went bad because he didn't flash in time one of us would have escaped would have been one for one but it's fine i got the kill we can still alt bot we can still check that out and i expected hecarine to come way faster but i believe i like the fact that hecarine comes mid instead of other lanes we can actually uh, roam here successfully because you see the wave the wave here positioning is exactly in favor of Lux so until she comes and pushes this I can just go bot I can just go bot and halt yep get that okay that's fine I'm gonna help them push and I'm backing off a bit. Got the kill there, and now we're actually heading towards this Drake because Kane already started it. After a successful gang bot, this is what your jungler should generally do, especially if both of them are back. So just dealt there a bit of damage. I don't care about the first plate. Yeah, I'm gonna lose it, but it's fine. Have to dodge here some skills. Gonna miss that. What did Kane do? Yeah, apparently Hecarim went over him, should have stayed, but I would have lost too much. My bot lane should have actually helped, not me, but yeah. For example, I could I could buy it in 400 gold, and then I could just full damage someone. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. That swain should be dead here. Blitzcrank should be not dead here. Right. That went well. See, perfect roam. Even though top lane is getting severely abused. Now, I could actually try here to all in her, but the problem is that she has flash. So, even if I do a proper ult here and save my plate, it wouldn't matter that much. So, I'm gonna dodge this and I'm gonna do a full combo. She's way faster than I expect. I don't know why I calculate her movement speed that bad. As you can see, I really need the gel because I cannot hit the combo. So if I cannot hit the combo on a target because he dodges too well, or I am just bad, well, the next thing that you gotta do is buy GLP, okay? So I have right now enough money for GLP. I could just push one more wave with my full combo. But she's recalling, she wants to recall as well, so I'm just going back here. 10 more seconds and I have it. Uh, it's fine, it's a good recall. Because my jungler can get some farm here, it's fine guys to control the vision like this i can actually roam now because she went back and i could predict here a hecarim gank which is most likely about to happen because i do not think that hecarim is dumb enough to play only top he got the advantage on top he has to move bot now and by doing so i could just do this and predict the hecarim right there okay 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 Let's try to help them. Somehow. Try to help them somehow. I'm still alive. Still alive. We actually won this. Lux is coming. There is a laser from Lux that could be thrown. Okay. Dodge that. Dodge this. Okay, dodging, dodging games going well.
Yep, didn't dodge well enough. But <laughs> nice, nice, got the kill there. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, that was fine. So that went well eventually. Uh, I mispositioned quite hard. I could have used GLP again in the same fight. Oh, that's good for us, right? And I could move bot here. I can still move bot here, even though they do have... Come on, come on, come on, come on, take this, take this, take this! Look how simple it is to generate a gank. As simple as that, and now I'm gonna work here, because there might be a Lux. Okay, I'm seeing the Lux. And I expect Hecarim to actually rush here again. Now, their Swain, I think, comes mid here. Okay, no. So I cannot, I cannot ult. I, can, I could actually try to ult here to gain a kill. Okay. Got the kill on Swain. Solo kill right there. You could see the full combo. In action, Ezreal kill right here as well. Okay, the only problem was that my Caitlyn died with Blitz, even though we got kills in this trade. And also, there might be a Moby Boots Predator Hecarim going for me, so I have to stay way more careful than general in this game. Also, we need to take this Cloud. So I'm going, I'm going for Oblivion, and because they don't have that many heals, uh, their Swain is not fed, so it's fine. I could just go for second item, maybe Rabadons, so I can one-shot people with my combo, maybe Lion Trees. Or even Zonia, because we don't want Lux to one-shot us from a million kilometers away. And that would be a good way to itemize. Now, you can see how Face Rush works. You can see how... We've activated it right now, till now, and I, I'm not gonna... You can see I'm also not really using GLP for farming, because I'd rather just have the active all the time. So yeah, that is that. I'm gonna be careful around this zone though. So I'm gonna full combo this. Okay. No, no, no. Here. Okay, well. Yeah, you can see, I one-shotted him after some damage was done by my teammates. And Kane did his part, I did my part, and everything went well. So, that's how, that's how this uh, rule works. Even though you deal less damage, you can position yourself closely towards the fight for extra Qs. So this would have been beneficial if I... Hey, I'm coming, I'm coming. I don't have my combo. But I do know that we can murder them here. Okay. Let me get this guy off you. Till you murder the other one. Okay, so there's another kill. You can, you can see I'm just moving everywhere around the map. Everywhere around the map. Now here you should be careful if there is a Hecarim that's mad and comes at you. And uh, found him. Wait, he's going red. Going red and I could probably kill him if I get my Unite up. Okay. Repositioning and that's well. Does this goes this goes excellent, you can see. And I'm gonna do this, don't know why. Smart cast it, and I expected that. And she stole it. Yep, I definitely expected that Lux there. This guy took my entire wave. Okay, so let's go for. Uh, let's not. Oops. Let's not upgrade the item. Let's go for a. For a rabbit on second item because we do have lots of gold to back that up. Also. The fun part is, when playing with GLP, you can just Weaver's Wall in, GLP, full combo, and then you're going to have the movement speed required to escape, right? So let's get part 1 of this item, and I should have stayed for 100 more gold. 
but I want to see how we can actually proc it. I'm gonna get a stopwatch, even though this is a bad thing considering the items I have. I wanna test this. I'm, I'm stress testing the champion right now, so I don't really bother that much with itemization. But what I want to do is alt in, uh, GLP, full combo, ignite, dodge this. Okay. And then Zonias, I mean stopwatch and try to, if I do not get away with face rush then use stopwatch then so that's the plan right and let's go let's go do some invading okay found the target found the target I have Zonia okay he has E but he went straight towards nowhere <laughs> okay so 30 seconds for GLP engage. Okay. I really thought he was going to stay a bit more there. Back off. You have to back off. It's fine. Back off. Caitlyn needs to heal up. Okay. Never mind, we got the guy. We got the guy. So yeah, right now we can alt here, as I said, and get as many of these guys. I'm stuck between towers. There is an Israel coming, right? Ah, he's bot. Okay, he, he's tilted. Yeah, that went well, I guess. That went well. So that's how I play with this champion. That's how I play with this rune. Sorry, and I believe it works and i think it's a good way to deal with harder matchups i think you need to practice though it a bit or a lot if that's the case because it has a lot of ups and downs probably and so this is the game <laughs> i almost died there oh my god that was so close <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and see you next time. This was my face rush GLP tutorial and come more for more Tilia games. I believe I'm going to do a mid one for other combinations because I'm starting to enjoy GLP right now and I want to see how it fares. I want to stress test it more, yeah really. So see you next time guys. Goodbye.